Wildfire is one of the most destructive forms of energy on our planet. But fire is a normal and essential part of many forest ecosystems. Now, some Western students are gaining a new understanding of this ecological process as they help fight wildland fires around the state. You give yourself a lot of pep talks and tell yourself that you can and no matter what, you know, your body's going to keep moving and you just have to give yourself pep talks after pep talks. Um, you know, sleep is, you don't get a lot of it sometimes and so I drink a lot of Zip Fizz. My name is Kent Contreras. I'm the Zone Fire Management Officer and I am 51 years old. I work out of the Knixu Fire Zone. It's on the Colville National Forest. It's the Newport and Solomon Lake Ranger Districts. Most important things that we look for is, is a physical attribute. Um, folks that have had uh, sports or um, like to hike. And uh, another attribute is that they like to camp or be outdoors. Um, they have to be team players. So naturally, anybody that's been in team sports uh, makes a good firefighter. Uh, it does take a lot of uh, uh, mental aptitude. You know, we're, we're looking for folks that can think on their feet and uh, make quick decisions. Adam Ackerman, I'm 37 years old. I work here on the Newport District of the Cobble National Forest. Uh, so I've been fighting fire now for 15 years. You get fatigued a lot. I've worked some shifts up to 30 hours straight. Um, so it really gets fatigue on your body and your mind. You definitely got to be in good shape. Uh, being in good shape definitely helps out for the type of work that we do and the long hours that we work and the equipment that we have to pack uh, and just having the, I guess, the mindset to, to want to do it and kind of like that camaraderie with you know, your crew folks to keep pushing each other to keep going. Um, well, I started when I was um, at Western and basically looking for a job that um, you know could, could get me through school and um, my assistant coach for uh, rowing told me about the job. Um, something that I have to overcome mentally would be uh, basically moving up in my training now that it's my third season. Um, I have a task book opened and I'm looking at becoming a firefighter one and it's basically just now it's not so much head down working but uh, head up, looking around, being really cognizant of what's happening and starting to make plans and make tactics and making those decisions that I've been given. The hardest thing to overcome I'd probably say is just like really steep terrain and it'll be wicked hot out and just like trying to get up the hill to the fire and you're carrying a lot of weight is like it's a lot of work and it's really hot if you're not used to it. Um, I think the other thing is fatigue. Towards the end of the day you get really really tired but you just kind of keep going. Best experience is when you do you know do a good job and you actually keep the fire and you save people's homes and then you know when I was in Colorado one time they, they had their signs up and thanking firefighters and they were at the gates like <laughs> clapping and cheering for us and that was the best moment because you don't always get that. A lot of times you get angry people and mad that they you didn't save their house and it's so rewarding you know it's a hard yeah. job it's hard work but when you get it accomplished and you see it done, it's incredibly rewarding. It's a great job. <laughs> see, uh, you know, I think if if the people are right for it, if they like it, um, they, won't, they won't look back, they'll keep going with that career. It's something that gets in your blood and, uh, and it sticks with you. fresh water, cooking, cleaning, drinking, agriculture. That in itself speaks volumes to the importance of fresh water. Water is life. That sounds really cliche, but we couldn't function as a civilization.